teachers and all my dear friends a warm good morning to and all first of all i would like to thank you all for giving me such an opportunity to speak in a special occasion i'm standing in front of you to deliver a speech on republic day before moving forward i would like to wish you all a happy republic day we indians celebrate the republic day on 26 january in 1947 august 15th india got independence from british rule However, the Indian Constitution came into force on 1950 January 26. Since this day in every year we celebrate our Republic Day. In this year we are celebrating our 73rd Republic Day. Republic means the citizen of our country holds supreme power to elect the representatives and constitution gives us all the same right. There is no any differences between color, language and religion. Constitution of India gives us six fundamental rights right to equality right to education right against exploitation are some examples for fundamental rights these rights are help us to lead a comfortable life like this we also have some duties for our nation pay the taxes obey the rules respect national flag and the national anthem etc our duties Republic Day is known as National Festival of India Dr B R Ambedkar is known as the father of Indian constitution Schools and colleges celebrate this day by unfurling the national flag and singing the national anthem. On this special occasion, we should also want to remember our freedom fighters who struggled a lot for our independence. Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh, etc. are some prominent freedom fighters. Mahatma Gandhi have an important role in it. He took much effort for our independence. However, we developed a lot. Along with the development, there are some pitfalls which came in the way. Unemployment, corruption, poverty, etc. grow very fast. As a student police cadet, this day is very important to us. We should want to take a pledge to find out the solution for these problems for a better tomorrow. I wish you all once again a happy Republic Day, and I am concluding my words. Thank you, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. A warm welcome, one and all. Today, I am here to talk a few words on the topic Republic Day. Republic Day is considered as the national festival of India and is celebrated on 26 January. It is an important day for our citizens because it is on this day we got our constitution. On 29th August, a constituent assembly was formed and was appointed to form the constitution. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was appointed as the chairperson for this committee. It took Two years, eleven months, and eighteen days for the Constituent Assembly to form this constitution. On the occasion of Republic Day, the President hoists the national flag and the national anthem is sung. Other celebrations are held at Rajput near the India Gate. People from all across the country visits the capital to witness the Republic Day parade. It is also a live telecast on the national channel of the country. Every year, guest speakers are invited from different countries. The first Republic Day was dedicated in 1950. It is celebrated with much fervor, and it marks the day when India got truly independent and got the historic Purna Swaraj. We became a sovereign, secular, socialist, democratic republic country. on 26 january 1950 3 years post independence the first president who hoists the flag ceremony was dr rajendra prasad in schools colleges government offices private organizations the celebration is done with much enthusiasm march past and parade are also held in schools government offices private organizations with other celebrations People from all across the country celebrate the spirit of freedom and also forgets the differences between people on the basis of caste, religion, language, creed, etc. I wish you all a happy Republic Day and I'm winding up my words. Thank you and have a nice day. Idende rajim idende matra rajim 
ഏതേഷ് ഹമാ 